a self-making bed, some futuristic vending machines, and more. I'm Doug Amma. Strap in for some insanely important mind-blowing tech news. A double dose of recent vending machine news. Let's start things off with this beer vending machine from Argentina Cerveza Salta. A machine that only dispenses beer if you slam into it hard enough. What, what could possibly go wrong? This is actually probably a good idea if you're a sleepy drunk like me. The more I drank, the harder it'd be for me to get any beer out of this machine, but not if you're a ragey drunk like, I don't know, celebrities, farmers, ragey. At least you're getting some exercise. Unlike this marketing stunt by Coca-Cola where the machine just spits out free, sugary, high fructose corn syrupy drinks to college students, most of whom are likely on a diet of cafeteria food, cigarettes, do college kids still smoke? Is it still a cool thing to do? And candy. Man, I just made a sweeping generalization. Very irresponsible. And then there's this Let's Pizza machine that's coming to the US, which has gotten everyone all whipped up as the first pizza vending machine to hit the States. It's not, actually. The community college by my house has a pizza vending machine, but there's no robot inside scratch making pizzas like the Let's Pizza machine does. And luckily for Let's Pizza, there's no way it could make worse tasting pizza than the ones that already exist. Piping hot and ice cold at the same time. I mean, just awful. I don't know what I expected from a vending machine. Ladies and gentlemen, the self-making bed. It uses custom sheets, pillows, and advanced robotics to make itself in under a minute. According to the company, if the bed making mechanism gets damaged, you'll have to make the bed manually yourself like a barbarian until a technician can fix it. Techland commenter Lady Marge raises an interesting question. What if the arms come up accidentally while you're in bed and the duvet is pulled up tight while you kick and fight and fight until you suffocate from lack of oxygen, pinned under the covering, your screams muffled by the pillows forced down on your face? Well, yeah, that would be a pickle, yes, but I fully suspect several cottage industries to spring up as a result of the self-making bed. I, for instance, am working on an accessory called the bed knife. It's a knife that you sleep with just in case your self-making bed tries to kill you. <laughs> Am I glad I bought this? The premium version comes with this handsome reading light attachment. Visit my Kickstarter page, pledge $150, and you can be one of the first owners of the bed knife. The retail version will go for 